Hi, everybody from Peggy's class. How are you? Are you ready for some music? I bet you are. Today, we're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I'm not sure how to sign St. Patrick's Day. Will you show me? Awesome. But first, what do we need to do? First, we need to sing hello. So will you help me? Okay, help me to say ready, set, go. Hey everybody, hey, hey, hello. Hey everybody, hey, hey, hello. Hey everybody, hey, hey, hello. It's time for some music. Let's wave. Can everybody wave, wave, wave your hands, everybody. Wave them hello. Wave everybody, wave, wave hello. Wave your hands, everybody, wave them hello. It's time for some music. Let's clap, let's clap our hands, everybody. Clap, clap, hello. Clap, everybody, clap, clap, hello. And stomp your feet, everybody. Stop, stop, hello. It's time for some music. One more time. Hey, everybody, hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody, hey, hey, hello. Hey everybody, hey, hey, hello. It's time for some music. It's time for some music. It's time for some. It's time for some. It's time for some. It's time for some. It's time for some music. Awesome job. All right, are you ready to get started on our St. Patrick's Day session? Because it's coming up March 17th. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so for this next song, we did this song last week, but I love it so much for St. Patrick's Day, so I thought we should do it one more time. And it's all about this guy, right? It's all about the leprechaun. And maybe if you look around wherever you are, Maybe you can find some leprechaun shoes, just like me. Look what I found. I found leprechaun shoes. Now, if you don't have leprechaun shoes, that's okay. You can use your own shoes, as long as they're not too dirty. Use your own shoes as an instrument, right? We gotta get really creative these days and find different ways to make instruments. Right, and if you don't have leprechaun shoes, you can use whatever shoes you do have. Look, I found some slippers. If you're in school, you're probably wearing your shoes, so just clean them off a little bit and use them as an instrument and try to help me keep that beat. If you don't want to use your shoes, no problem. You can pat, 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 clap, clap, pat, 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 clap, clap. That's a little tricky, but you can do it. I know you can. One, two, three, clap, clap. Good, try to keep that beat. And we're gonna sing the shamrock beat. The shamrock is a four leaf clover that you might see around St. Patrick's Day. All right, this is a lot of fun. This song kind of reminds me of doing an Irish jig. So if you don't wanna use your shoes and you just wanna dance instead, and it's okay with your teachers, whatever you guys wanna do with this song, as long as you're having fun. All right, ready? Try to help me keep that beat. short and green. I have four leaves as you can see. If you need some luck then call on me. Cause I'm a shamrock short and green. Hey little hi little fiddly pee dance and sing to the shamrock beat. Hey little hi little fiddly pole never can dance around the pot of gold. around the pot of gold. Leprechaun, leprechaun, where you be? With your red, red hair and your suit 
so green. Sing and dance with your little feet. Why are you trying to hide your gold from me? Hey little, hi little, fiddly dee, dance and sing to the shamrock beat. Hey little, hi little, fiddly doll, never can dance from the pot of gold. Around the pot of gold. Pat, 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 pat. Good, let's do it again. Ready? From the top. I'm a little shamrock, short and green. I have four leaves, as you can see. If you need some luck, then call on me. Cause I'm a shamrock, short and green. Around the pot of gold. Hey little, hey little, fiddly dee, dance and sing to the shamrock beat. Hey little, hey little, fiddly doll, ever can dance around the pot of gold. Leprechaun, leprechaun, where you be? With your red, red hair and your suit so green. Sing and dance with your little feet. Why are you trying to hide your gold from me? Hey little, hey little, fiddly dee, dance and sing to the shamrock beat. Hey little, hey little, fiddly doll, never can dance from the pot of gold. Hey little, hey little, fiddly dee, dance and sing to the shamrock beat. Hey little, hey little, fiddly doll, never can dance from the pot of gold. In the pot of gold. Nice job! That song is so much fun. I hope that you enjoy that song as much as I do. I had to do it again, right? I only get to do it around St. Patrick's Day song, St. Patrick's Day time, or unless you're studying like around the world or something like that. And we can sing about Ireland. <laughs> awesome job, guys. Let's see what's next. Okay, so are you guys ready to do a little singing with me? So this is a song I like to do around St. Patrick's Day. And you might know it. Has anybody here ever seen the movie Brave? Well, there's some great music in that movie. And actually it takes place in Scotland. Scotland's not that far from Ireland, and something about this song just kind of reminds me of that like Irish music sound with the fiddles and the guitars and the drums, and it's a great song to sing along to. So I hope that you enjoy it, and I think it will help us celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to start by singing on Na. Can you help me? Here we go.
song so much fun. I love it. I love all the music from that movie. So if you haven't seen the movie, try to see if you can take a listen to the music. Awesome job. Okay, so next we're going to do a little St. Patrick's Day story about a leprechaun who loves geometry. Does anybody here know what geometry is? Some of you might be studying it. Some of you might not be. Geometry is different shapes. I mean, there's so much more than that, but the basics of it is little shapes like a circle and a heart and a triangle. So we're gonna learn all about our shapes in this song. And sing about a little leprechaun. There was a little leprechaun in Irish days of old. Ready? Let's hear the story. So this is our first picture and the story is called St. Patrick's Day Shapes. Our first picture, take a look. Ready? There was a little leprechaun in Irish days of old. He frolicked through the fields of green in search of special gold. You see this lucky leprechaun, he loved geometry. And his rainbow pot, till filled with shapes, would, would remain empty. All right, so that's the first page. All right, now we're on page two. Let's see what shape he's gonna find first. The leprechaun searched high and low in the sky and on the ground and saw under a rose bush something shiny and round. Hmm, what's a shape that's shiny and round? It's a circle, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, so which one is the circle? That's right, this is the circle. So we're gonna put the circle right here and turn the page. Oh, what's on this page? It's a little squirrel. Let's see what happens next. Hmm. The leprechaun continued to search both far and wide and saw beside a squirrel a coin with four even sides. Hmm, what is a shape with four even sides? It's a square, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, let's see, which one is the square? This one or this one? Which one is the square? This one, right? All right, so let's place the square next to the squirrel and see what happens next. All right, so we did a circle, we did a square. Let's see. Okay, here we go. The leprechaun, he walked and searched along the river bend and saw a coin in a boat with two long and short ends. Hmm, what is a shape with two long ends and two short ends? <gasps> it's a rectangle, said a leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, so we have the picture of the boat that we just sang about. And we need a rectangle. Which one is the rectangle? This one? No, it's this one. So let's put the rectangle in the picture. Here we go, it's in the boat. Oh, let's turn the page. Ooh, what's that a picture of? It's a, tr it's a mushroom, right? All right, let's see what happens next. All right, here we go. Then the lucky leprechaun who loved geometry found a gold coin on a mushroom with pointed angles three. Hmm, what shape has three pointed sides? Hmm, it's a triangle, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, so we're looking for a triangle. Which one is the triangle? That's right, it's this one. All right, we gotta put it on the mushroom. He's finding lots of shapes. 
Let's see what's next. All right, let's see. Okay. The leprechaun kept on a search for gold shapes near and far and saw beside a clover a coin shaped like a star. Oh, well, they told it to us. It's a star, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, so which one is the star? That's right, it's this one. Let's put the star next to the clover. So that's a shamrock, it's a four leaf clover, it's good luck. And let's turn over the page. Now we have a bird. I wonder what shape is going to be by the bird. Let's find out. Then the leprechaun, he climbed a tree and saw the bird's leg, a gold coin sitting in a nest just shaped like an egg. Ooh, what shape is like an egg? It's an oval, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. Hmm, what shape is the oval? Which one looks like an egg? I've never seen a heart-shaped egg, but I have seen an oval-shaped egg. Shaped egg. So let's give that to the bird. And let's see what's next. All right, here we go. The leprechaun resumed a search for golden works of art and found a coin under a rock shaped like a heart. Ah, he told us again. It's a heart, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, so which one is the heart? That's right, you know what the heart looks like from Valentine's Day, right? So we'll put the heart there. Then we have one more shape to look for. And you might remember because I just showed it to you. Let's see, let's see. This one has a special name. Make sure I'm on the right verse, here we go. <laughs> then the leprechaun, he headed home for it would be dark soon. And along the path, in a bird bath was a coin shaped like a moon. Does anybody remember the name of a shape that looks like a moon? That's right. It's a crescent, said the leprechaun with a cheeky little grin. Then he placed the gold piece in his pot and was on his way again. All right, so this is a crescent moon. All right. Good job. So you put the crescent moon in the bird bath. And we have one more page left, right? With all the different shapes. Here we go. And the lucky little leprechaun in Irish days of old, he frolicked through the fields of green with a pot of special gold. Shiny circle, crescent oval heart, triangle and star. Sparkling square and rectangle, he found them near and far. Right? So he found the rectangle, the circle, the heart, the star, the crescent, the oval, the triangle, and the square. Oh, and there is one little page at the end where he finds all of the shapes and puts them in his pot of gold. And he placed the pot at the end of a rainbow and turned around to say, Happy, happy, happy St. Patrick's Day! We did it! So happy St. Patrick's Day! I hope that you guys liked learning about all of the different shapes. Great job! Okay, everybody. So this is a song that we did last week, but we're going to do it again. And this time we're just going to change it up a little bit. Oh, I forgot to bring over my drum. And you know what's cool about this drum? I don't know if I've showed you this. It's called a talking drum because the pitch, do you hear how that changes a little bit when I, I'm not sure if you can hear that on the computer, but 
kind of cool. Anyway, we are going to play around with our different dynamics and sing the song about the country that St. Patrick's Day is all about, which is Ireland, right? Ireland is all the way in Europe. Maybe you've been there. I got to go a long time ago when I was in college, but we're going to practice different dynamics. So what letters do we need to be super quiet to be what's called pianissimo? Pianissimo is very, very soft. So what instrument do you have? How do you play it soft? If I was going to go a little louder, I would crescendo. You might see a greater than sign in music, which means to get louder. Get a little bit louder and I'm going to crescendo to this sign. MF means to play medium. Medium. So how would you play medium? too loud. Now if I was going to crescendo some more, there's that crescendo, there's that greater than sign that some of you might have learned about in math. Crescendo even more. And I see these letters. Lots of F's means to play fortissimo. And if I play fortissimo, I'm really hitting that drum. Feels good to do. All right, so let's sing about Ireland. But we're gonna start, shh, we're gonna start. What letters do I need to be? Shh, very soft. We're gonna start by playing Now I'm going to crescendo, get a little louder, and play medium mezzo forte, medium loud. Ireland, Ireland, together. So forte. Come the day and come the hour and come the power of glory. We have come to answer our country's call. Ireland, Ireland, together standing tall. Shoulder to shoulder will answer Ireland's call. Now we are going to be very loud. We're going to be fortissimo. I see lots of Fs. That means to be loud. Show me how you play loud. Ready? One, two, three. And stop. Good. All right, go ahead and play your drums or whatever your instrument you are playing. Fortissimo and sing with me. Come the day and come the hour and come the power of glory. We have come to answer our country's call. Ireland, Ireland, together standing tall. Shoulder to softer. 
we are going to day crescendo, which looks like this in music. Day crescendo goes the opposite way, and that means to get softer. So can you do it with me again? We'll start medium. So we'll first we'll start loud, and now we're gonna day crescendo to mezzo forte. Ireland, Ireland, together standing tall, shoulder to shoulder. Pianissimo, ready. Ireland, Ireland, together standing tall. Shoulder to shoulder, we'll answer Ireland's call. Even softer. Ireland, Ireland, together standing tall. Shoulder to shoulder. Crescendo get louder. We'll answer Ireland's call. Fortissimo. We'll answer Ireland's call. Excellent job. So what three dynamic signs did we learn about? We learned about three of them. So if you play music or take music class, you might have seen these before. Right? We start soft, mezzo forte, medium, fortissimo, loud. That's something we'll continue to learn about in our sessions together. But it was a fun way to incorporate it in our St. Patrick's Day session. So great job. Okay, all my friends from Peggy's class, I hope that you had so much fun today. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. And will you help me to sing goodbye? All right, here we go. Help me sing goodbye. everybody. Have a wonderful week. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye.